Chiefs last year and fired their manager. It has been a truly. The Twins are one of the best teams in baseball this season. A surprising turn of events for a team that only won 78 games last year and fired their manager. It has been a truly magical run. But as David McCoy shows us, as it turns out, it isn't magic at all. When you're trying to start a religion, where could be better? In a bar. <laughs> it's where three twins faithful. If I had a title, it would be spiritual advisor. Tom Johnson, Joel Gillespie, and Michael Haas. We tried to be um, equal opportunity, offensive, and disrespectful to all religions. Decided that after years of bad baseball, it was time to do something. We need to appeal to a higher power. And so, in this perfect dark corner of Darby's pub, just a stone or baseball's throw from Target Field. The Twin Shrine was created. Baseball is such a sport that has so many superstitions. There's so much cosmic, spiritual energy, and we figured that fans would really like a place like this where they could focus it and bring all their memorabilia. We've had fans of other teams uh, come up and tell us that this is an unfair advantage for the Twins. You know, it's just, it's like uh, steroids or PEDs. It's not fair. This is Minnie and Paul um, kind of forming the Twins logo. The idea so first came to Tom in February. They look a lot like nativity figures. They may be nativity figures. The but three of them worked on it all through spring training. We've got Metrodome dirt. In the early part of April. A lot of tortugas, a lot of turtles uh, supporting Asadio. Items from their own collections. These are Homer Hanky prayer flags. And the occasional deal on Craigslist. Uh, the Circle Me Burt pentagram. This one right here. That's my favorite, actually. <laughs> um, we've got the shrine made its debut on April 26th, the night the Twins played the Orioles, and there's been no denying its impact. There goes. There's another one. The day that we opened this, there were back-to-back-to-back home runs. Bottom of the first inning, it was like, oh man, we're onto something here. And then they were like. 25 and 5 for the first 30 games afterwards. I don't know what else could be making the Twins do so well this season, if not for the Shrine. How much credit should you guys take for how good this team is this year? Um, I'd say mathematically 85 to 90 percent. Um, we can't take 100 percent because it's still baseball. It's still the people are out there on the field. Why do you think this works? <laughs> <laughs> because we are pure of heart. Uh. <laughs> I mean, maybe nobody ever tried this before, and it just, you know, it the, the gods of baseball were just waiting for someone to show proper respect and, you know, adulation for the, the whims of uh, outrageous fortune. I don't know. Over time, other fans have brought their own items. That's kind of the whole point. So every time we come back here, there's always something new. We started it, but we want other people to, it, it, it's nothing if other people don't put their energy into it. There's something here for everybody. That's the way we like it. David McCoy. WCCO for sports. I love that. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> laughing. I'm a believer. I, I am a believer too. I'm a little superstitious. You need to start working on the Vikings. Vikings one. one. Yeah. yeah. I'll start tonight when I get home. Don't for, forget the nativity scene either. I gotta have that. There's That's no scary. sport more superstitious than baseball. Than baseball. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Fun stuff. So yeah. thank you to them. Yeah. I guess we should say right. <laughs> We're gonna win it all because of. <laughs>